The weather radar is one of the most important pieces of weather technology used today. When storms roll through southern Nevada, you'll see those radar images here on Fox 5 and on your weather app. Fox 5 meteorologist Sam Argier gives us an inside look at the most extensive upgrade our local radar has seen. Yeah, John and Christine, there are 160 different radar sites that cover the entire United States of America. Now, right now, all 160 are getting a makeover. It's a $150 million service life extension program. Crews are replacing critical components so the radars can track storms for years to come. The Colorado River sparkles to the east. That's Boulder City, 20 miles north, and to the west lies the El Dorado Valley. But to get a look at how beautiful the view is on top of Nelson Peak, you have to see it from the air. This is station KESX, the Doppler weather radar that scans the skies over southern Nevada. It's absolutely critical. As you know, flash floods are a big threat around here from a weather perspective. When rain and thunderstorms move in, the radar is our first line of defense. It gives us a look inside the storms. We can actually see wind patterns inside of the thunderstorms. And with some upgrades that we did about five or six years ago, we can actually determine the, the size of the droplets inside of the thunderstorm, which actually gives us better estimates on how much rain is actually going to fall out of the bottom of the storm, which is very critical for flash flooding in this area. The radar works by sending out pulses of energy, looking for objects in the atmosphere. When it finds rain, snow, or hail, it sends a signal back to the radar. That's what you see on a map. The colors show the intensity. Green is light rain, red means heavy rain or hail. And right now, some of the heaviest of that rain, right around Summerlin Parkway, pretty much west of 95, all the way to downtown Summerlin. We use that information to tell you what kind of weather is moving into your neighborhood. And that allows us to get those warnings out to the public, sometimes 40 minutes to an hour and a half before the flooding actually occurs. Station KESX has been watching over Southern Nevada since 1995. Working nonstop for nearly 25 years, it's showing some wear and tear. Some of the parts are old and need to be replaced. This is the most extensive update yet. The day we visited the site, the crews replaced the pedestal. To show you where the pedestal is, we need to remove the 4,000 pound dome called a ray dome. Underneath the ray dome is the radar dish that is constantly spinning, monitoring weather in all directions. The piece of equipment that is spinning the dish is the pedestal. That's what the crews were replacing. We thought the winds were, were going to stop us. Um, they were saying they were getting between 12 and 15 miles an hour, hitting 18 and an occasional 20, but we had you know, lulls where it would kind of calm down. So the plan was to get it, um, get everything strapped, ready, and then be able to loosen the bolts when we had a lull and lift it, and, and that's what they did. Crews dealt with wind all on this small piece of land at the top of a mountain. They had to build a platform so the ray dome had somewhere to sit. We're the first site they've done that with. There was no place to sit the dome anywhere, so that's why we're, we're kind of documenting this, because this, this really is a proof of concept for potentially for other sites. This uh, project is not uh, trivial in, in how it's, uh, it's being conducted, uh, but we have a lot of professionals up there. The contractors are very good at what they do, and they're able to do it safely. The project was completed safely and ahead of schedule. The goal? to extend the radar's lifespan well into the 2030s until the next generation of radar technology will take its place. The radar is ready to go for the summer monsoon, the time of year when we see the most thunderstorm activity around southern Nevada. To get you ready for the season, our weather team is putting together a Fox 5 monsoon weather special on Thursday, June 27th at 6 p.m. We'll take a look at some of the most significant events, show you how flood control in Las Vegas has improved over the years, and we'll also dive into the future of weather forecasting. John and Christine, we'll send it back to you.